Blake Lively, known for her roles in Gossip Girl and It Ends With Us, has recently found herself in hot water as resurfaced interviews have sparked controversy over her repeated use of a transgender slur. While the interviews date back over a decade, the backlash has reignited on social media, with fans and critics alike revisiting and dissecting her past comments. As conversations surrounding trans rights and language sensitivity have evolved, Lively's words, once brushed off or overlooked, are now being scrutinized under a modern lens. This renewed criticism has cast a shadow over her recent promotional efforts and stirred up debate about the responsibilities public figures have in addressing their past actions. The controversy began when a fan on social media platform X, formerly Twitter, shared a 2012 interview Lively gave to Elle magazine, where she made a remark about her future children that included the slur. In the interview, Lively expressed her hopes for having daughters, adding, if not girls, they better be trannies. Because I have some amazing shoes and bags and stories that need to be appreciated. The casual use of the term, which has long been considered derogatory by the transgender community, particularly by advocacy groups like GLAAD, sparked immediate backlash. The resurfaced quote prompted many to question how such language was ever acceptable, while others pointed out that societal norms around language have shifted significantly since then. This wasn't the first time Lively had used the term in public. A 2009 interview with Allure revealed another instance where she referred to herself as a tranny while discussing her insecurities on the set of Gossip Girl. She described feeling like a man due to her height, hair, and makeup, further reinforcing the harmful stereotype that trans identity is synonymous with being unattractive or unfeminine. A year earlier, in a 2008 interview with Nylon, Lively had joked about rumors regarding her and her Gossip Girl co-star Leighton Meester, dismissing them by saying, we're actually men and trannies. Each of these instances has resurfaced, drawing renewed attention to the problematic language and sparking a broader conversation about the impact of such words. As the backlash gains momentum, reactions from the public have been mixed. Some fans have come to Lively's defense, arguing that the use of the term was more commonplace in the late 2000s and early 2010s and that context should be considered. Others, however, emphasize that the word was always harmful and that Lively's repeated use of it suggests a deeper issue that needs addressing. One social media user noted, I get what she was trying to say, but she could have used different wording. This sentiment reflects the growing expectation that celebrities, who have a platform and influence, must be more mindful of their language, even when reflecting on the past. The timing of this controversy is particularly unfortunate for Lively, who has been heavily promoting her latest film, It Ends With Us. Her promotional efforts have already been marred by other criticisms, including allegations of a feud with co-star Justin Baldoni and accusations that she has focused more on her fashion and beauty ventures than the serious themes of domestic violence in the film. Additionally, fans have called out Lively for what they perceive as Regina George behavior, referring to her refusal to wear a fan-gifted bracelet on the red carpet and reports of a nightmare interview in 2016 that allegedly left a reporter questioning her career. Blake Lively's current predicament highlights the complex nature of celebrity culture in the digital age, where past actions and words can resurface and spark fresh outrage. As society continues to evolve, so too do the standards by which public figures are held accountable. For Lively, the challenge now lies in addressing the hurt caused by her past remarks and navigating the scrutiny that comes with it. Whether this will lead to a more profound reflection or further controversy remains to be seen, but one thing is clear, in today's world, even the biggest stars are not immune to the repercussions of their words. As the conversation around this controversy continues to unfold, it serves as a reminder of the lasting impact language can have and the importance of growth and understanding in the public eye.